Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I feel like I always start my vlogs that way, just like happy something. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday. I woke up late today, which was a struggle because new releases went live at 9 and it was 8 o'clock that I woke up and I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> I need to finish making the listing photos and make the listings themselves. But we got it all up. We are good to go. Um, I do want to do an email newsletter, but I'm going to have to do that later, I think. Um, because I am heading to my parents' boat to go hang out with them for a few hours before my cousin and her husband come visit because they have, they're going to be in town in the area anyways. And so they stopped by. So we got stuff to do. It is already 11 o'clock. So I probably should go because I think we're going to be barbecuing at the boat today, which will be really fun. I feel like I'm not in focus. Am I in focus? I don't know. Hopefully I'm in focus. Is that better? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just filmed a hair routine. Kind of hard to tell because I have my hat on right now, but um, I filmed a hair like tutorial on how I did this. So hopefully that will be up by the time you guys see this. But anyways, let's get going. I just got to grab my stuff together and then I'm ready. <laughs> Austin's out of town this weekend. He's at a bachelor party. So it's just me. I'm flying solo. So I thought I'd kind of take you along my day and just see where it goes. I'm going to be heading to the boat and I will see you guys when we get there. Bye. the boat yay we're just hanging out here it's pretty overcast so there's that but it's still really nice you guys can see the harbor can you guys see the sea anemone right there oh my gosh it's so cute so there's anything else I'm heading home. Actually, might be going to the office really quick, but I think I'm actually gonna be heading home. So I will see you guys then. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I am home. Um, feels nice to be back, but my cousin and her husband, which I think I had said, are going to stop by, I think in the next like hour or so. Um, I don't know for sure. I, th I know they're stopping by, I just don't know exactly when, but Yes, they're in the area for a birthday party, so they are going to be stopping by and saying hello because they don't live around here, so it's really exciting. But she's also going to be one of my bridesmaids, so I need to ask her to be my bridesmaid today, my bridesmaid proposal things. So I think I might talk about it before, but I made, I took denim jackets. I'll show you guys the denim jackets. So I'm just not going to show you her name on it. So I got denim jackets from, let's see, show you like part of it. So it has like, I got denim jackets from H&M. <laughs> And I made the vinyl scripts like of their names and then heat pressed them with my giant heat press thing to make like custom denim jackets. And I thought it'd be so cute if that's like our something blue for the wedding where everyone gets to wear theirs and mine on the back says Mrs. on it. I thought that'd be so cute. So that's what I'm using to ask them to be my bridesmaids. And also a little card that is really cute that says like, would you be my bridesmaid? And has a little drawing on it of like two girls of like a bride and a bridesmaid. I just don't think I'm in, I feel like it keeps unfocusing. I need to print one of those off because I left them at the office. Um, because I was going to ship them all to everybody because everybody looks quite a ways away. So I was going to ship hers and then I found out she's going to come this weekend. So it worked out perfectly, but I just need to print another one at home because they're at the office, like I said. So I'm going to do that now. And then I think I might try to edit some of the videos I have. I have a lot of footage and I just filmed the one this morning in my hair. Um, so... I think I might try to edit that. I also want to do an email newsletter for all the email newsletter people for the fairy tale weekend that's happening, the fairy tale gone dark weekend that's happening this weekend. Um, just so everyone can see it and is in the know. Sometimes Instagram is unreliable. <laughs> so I want to try to send that out tonight or tomorrow morning or at least have it scheduled to go for tomorrow. And yeah, so I do need to do those two things today and I do want to work out today as well. So maybe I'll show that later. And other than that, it's a pretty easy open day because like I said, Austin's gone 
out of town for the weekend, which I already miss him so much. So I'm just kind of like filling my time, <laughs> getting stuff done that I need to get done, and just kind of just doing whatever I feel like doing. Honestly, last night while I was making listings, I just watched Love Island for like way too long. I watched it like all night. <laughs> like I started watching it like when I got home. I was watching it yesterday at work too. I was cutting stickers and then I got home and I was on the elliptical, not elliptical, I was on the stationary bike and I was just watching it again for like the whole time and then I watched it while I made dinner and I sat down and cast it to the TV and designed and ate dinner and it was just like all night was Love Island. But it's just getting so good. Like I'm getting towards the end of the fifth season. I think that's the newest one. Um, I'm getting closer to the end. They just had like the Casa Amor one. So if you watch that, you know what I'm talking about, where they like flip and they bring in new guys and new girls to see who's like tempted. Oh, it was so stressful. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to just start getting into that stuff. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. But yeah, it's going pretty good so far. I think it's uh, it's almost 2 o'clock. So we had lunch too. I forgot to mention that. We had lunch at the boat. Um, my parents got some hot dogs, veggie dogs for me. And then they had like turkey hot dogs. And they grilled them up. And so we had hot dogs, which was really good. So I might get a snack soon though because I'm kind of hungry now. Um, but... Maybe make a smoothie. I have new recipes I'm trying this weekend. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna just start editing stuff and printing things off. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, y'all, so we are going to make a smoothie bowl. Well, it's like a nice cream. You know, like an ice cream, but like the nice cream. Here's what it looks like. Um, I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. It's kind of tracking like something else. <laughs> I turned the tracking focus back on and I'm hoping that will help because I had it for on just like the center focus and I felt like it kept getting blurry. I feel like this looks better, but I don't know if I like move, if it's gonna take, I think it takes a little while to focus. So either way, I'm making this green nice cream, which if you've never heard of nice cream, it's basically just made with frozen bananas and different like healthy stuff. It's like a smoothie, but thicker, like almost the consistency of ice cream. I kind of have a hard time doing them. I have a um, Vitamix, which is what I use, but I still sometimes have a hard time getting them to blend all the way. My Vitamix is pretty old. Like I probably bought it like four or five years ago and it was refurbished. So it, I think it's getting like dull, maybe the blades. I don't know. It's having a hard time like really blending that well. So, um, but I can do it. It just takes a bit of coaxing. So let's do this. We need, let's see. Okay. So let me grab my blender. Here we go. They also get really like murky looking, like it's clean. I cleaned it so good yesterday, but they get really murky after a while, like the plastic. Um, but we've been using it like heavily over the years, so it's fine. Okay. Let's do some bananas. Okay. Got some bananas. Two and a half frozen bananas. I just froze these a few days ago, so. They're freshly frozen. I froze mine and freeze mine in halves. So, well kind of, yeah, for the most part. That's like one, two, and a half. This is gonna make a lot of frozen ice cream. I don't know if I want this much. Like This is gonna make quite a bit, but we'll see. The thing with it is you can't really like freeze it and then like let it, I don't know. Once you make it, you kind of just have to eat it all. Like you can't really freeze it from my experience, but if I have a lot extra, maybe I'll just try it. We need fresh spinach and we need some plant milk. Okay. So I don't like spinach. I am not a spinach kind of gal, but you know, we're doing this. 30 grams. How much is 30 grams? I think this is like a British recipe. British. I think she's British. Um, how much is 30 grams? in cups. That's easier for me to picture. Oh, it's a quarter cup, so not very much. So we'll say about that. All right? It's not very much spinach. But I don't like spinach, so maybe it's a good thing. We'll put in a little more. I feel like you guys can't see me. I don't have a tripod for this. Okay. And then it says to use spirulina powder, which I do not have spirulina powder. A teaspoon of spirulina powder. But what I do have is, I think it also says or any other type of like um, that's any other type of like green powder. So I have this raw organic perfect food green superfood gr juiced greens powder. It's vegan, stevia free, soy free, gluten free, and it has literally every like vegetable fruit known to mankind in it. It has everything. It also has all of like the barley grass, it has alfalfa, 
grass, uh, oat grass, wheat grass. So I think like this counts. I think it might even have spirulina in it, if I'm not mistaken. It has all kinds of sprouts and it literally has everything. It has like so many vitamins in it and it's real green and it smells real green. Oh, that is intense. <laughs> It smells real green but it's good to put into like smoothies and stuff um and you don't really taste it that much it tastes a lot like fruit because there's a ton of different fruits in it too it has literally apple beet or broccoli carrot spinach tomato pineapple strawberry cherry blackberry bell pepper two thousand years later raspberry parsley cauliflower it keeps going there's literally everything so she said a teaspoon so i'm gonna like half a scoop that's pretty much a teaspoon we'll see and then three tablespoons of plant milk which i think i might need more because like i said my blender it's kind of an old lady so he's not focusing that well my blender is not very um she's kind of like an old lady she's not really doing her thing right now she's, she's been around she's helped me through a lot <laughs> of blending things it's a little bit more than three teaspoons oh three tablespoons yeah about three tablespoons i'll put a little extra because it's just kind of or for mine to blend and then i'm gonna try to blend it up with the little tamper thing and wish me the best i'm just trying to make some green nice cream <laughs> so we'll see i think i made it too watery because it kind of looks a little soupy so maybe i will add in another small frozen banana because it's a little soupy looking so it's not like super thick I think I did add too much liquid in. It's also maybe just not getting as cold. So I think maybe I will see if I can put it in the freezer for a little bit and get it a little bit like a little bit thicker because it's a little bit thin, but let's put it into something. We'll put it into a bowl. It's a good place to start, am I right? I got this KitchenAid like blender scraper thing and it is the best thing ever. It is so nice. Okay. It looks kind of uh, icky. <laughs> I feel like I almost blended it too long because it's kind of like, kind of a weird texture from when I've made banana ice cream before. Oh, wow. Wow. I think that's probably why I used spirulina powder. Maybe it's a little bit more bright. I feel like this looks like pea soup. <laughs> and I think I also over blended that. Normally I don't like go high speed. Because this literally looks like pea soup. Does not look like this cute, pretty, like, bright blue thing that, like, she did here. And I think it's because the spirulina powder. I think that that's probably what gives it, like, a pretty, like, bright blue kind of color. But like I said, I don't have spirulina, so we work with what we got. It smells really green. <laughs> spirulina. I actually don't know what spirulina tastes like on its own. Probably not as green as like spinach and like this tastes. This is a lot. This literally looks like baby pea soup. I think I put in too much liquid and over blended uh, bananas. It's actually not bad though. My hair's crazy, but it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I think I need to like see if I can freeze it a little bit though. This tastes like bananas. I think I might freeze a little bit and then see if I can put like, I have some like frozen raspberries and stuff I could maybe put on it and some granola, but it's not this like illustrious thick ice cream that I was hoping for. And I think it's cause I had too much liquid and not enough bananas, but it's all right. So I'm just gonna, I should have put a different container that I can seal shut off. Probably, but Maybe? Okay. This is gonna be crazy. I actually don't even know if I can freeze this bowl. I think it'll be fine. I'll put it into a plastic bag. This is super weird. I don't know. You guys, I don't know. I'll put it in here. 